Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're starting stage three, the amusement park <laughs> amusement park stage. And let's go! Wait, these guys. I believe you can only hit them in the eye. Yeah, I just wanted to be sure of that. Or wait, no? That's not Oh, you have to light all the switches! Now I remember! Uh, otherwise those guys just seem to turn when they touch a wall. Uh, and... Oh my! <laughs> Wait, can I... I believe I can... Yay! I can actually use this as a guard along with that heart that I got in the last part. So that is delightful. And I believe there's also... Teleports of sorts around here. I could be wrong unless I'm supposed to use the trampolines to get from one place to another I'm unsure actually. Can I like leave this thing? No, apparently not and hey that didn't respawn Huh? Oh, whatever <laughs> All right, so in order to get out of this it looks like I'm gonna have to do this <laughs> Well now can I like Yes, that is how you're supposed to do it. Whoa! Oh, you can't die in the water. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> and... Wait, is this switch that kills him? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought lighting all the other ones was the thing that killed them, but... Hitting those switches apparently... Or just like open the door or something like that but they apparently can also be turned off if you want to and i just noticed i am maxed out in fire and bomb power wow <laughs> this is pure blast for me i never believed that i could actually get so high and i have never not died up to this point in the game too so that's pretty odd <laughs> um no that's not gonna work there we go i just want to clear yeah. Go, 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 go! <laughs> now, I think I have to... Yep! Woo! Yay! <laughs> and since it doesn't seem to matter if you touch the water or not, or at least... Oh, wait, no, I, I believe you can die in the water, actually. It's just that if the water is too shallow, you'll just hop over the edge of it. Um... Come on, go, 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 go. Plop, plop. Good. And the door should open, I, I think. I believe if you need to go back to hit the switches, that's what this cannon is for, but I don't see why you wouldn't hit those switches, you know, while you're on the other side anyway. I mean, you know that those switches kill those purple guys, so it's like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I should have taken the tank. Oh, poopers. <laughs> because those you can ride in the tanks as well. I'll, I'll show you a tank when I get the opportunity again in the future. Maybe in this stage, perhaps? Oh, I noticed that this stage is quite adept at trapping you. Okay, I'm gonna hit him. Go, he goes that way. Now, if I... Oh, he just shot... <laughs> Can I... Is there any way to shoot with the tank? It seems like it's something that I would be able to do with the tank. No, it just seems to be something that guards you. <laughs> I tried every button on the controller and it is completely useless. <laughs> well, okay, it's it's good for protecting you from a hit, as I said before. But otherwise, it's just there. <laughs> I, I, seriously, if those little blobby guys can operate the tank, why can't I? Aww. Unless there's some other special button combination, because I, 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 there's the uh, A button. B button blasts your bomb, it doesn't shoot anything. Y button, nothing. X button, nothing. L and R, uh, nothing. <laughs> Select button, nope. Not, not a, not a, nope. All right, I'm just gonna go to the goal. <laughs> oh wait, maybe I should have looked to see what's in those four blocks over there because they were way, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little bit here just because I, I can with the, I'm not gonna grab anything that comes from there. I just want to see... Ah, oh, it definitely was worth it to go over there, but I still have my heart from earlier, so I guess it doesn't really matter all that much to me. Oh, those things are like a gold mine for power-ups. Okay, I'm done here. <laughs> you you guys, if you don't have a good, good set of power-ups, blast those blocks over there. <laughs> Alright, 3-4. Got some penguins. I believe those guys slide at you. Uh, yes, they do, if they see you. Like, if you're in their line of sight. 
or oh wait wait what the heck am I supposed to do because I have so much firepower wait 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 I got it I can do that and then I can do that <laughs> Derp, why didn't I see that earlier? <laughs> this this section in the center here is just probably one big waste of time. <laughs> but I'm just gonna see for the fun of it if there is actually something worthwhile in here. Like, just for the sake of, you know, seeing if there's stuff, something in the stage is a speed up. But I'm pretty sure I'm at maximum speed already. Eh, eh. Wah! Good thing I have the remote control there, otherwise I'd be worried about the timing of my bomb blast and these trampolines. And these trampolines you have a lot more control over as opposed to the trampolines that you've seen in the battle mode of the original Bomberman. Like you see, you you can see yourself on the screen and you stay on the trampoline for as long as you, you don't press a direction essentially. And you also have control over how far you are going to move based on how long you hold the, but the direction that you're pressing on the D-pad. You know, I still wonder, why do they want to kidnap Bomberman? Do they, like, want his powers just like, you know, in the first game? That's why they wanted to- ooh, wall walk. Or I should say, yeah, one of these things, wall pass, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I, I, I still have no idea why they wanted to get him. Maybe it's a thing of, like, he is a powerful guy and... They just wanted to steal his secrets of, you know, so like they could have world domination or something like that. I, I don't know really. <laughs> Maybe they're like his number one fan or something, and they're like, Bomberman, we want you. We want to make babies with you. Oh wait, wait, no, that would only be Pretty Bomber, which is the boss of this stage. Now these two contraptions here, you can use them to ride all the way over to the other side, like so, and all the way back. You have no control over these things, like one's a submarine, one isn't a canoe-like thing, but they both pretty much do the same thing, they just take you to the section here. Come on, delightful. What, what, what happens if I hit those, these things right here? Fireworks? That, <laughs> what? That, that, that's just so random. <laughs> what? It's like, why are they there? I don't need that remote control. Um, well, okay then, blast those fireworks to celebrate your victory on the stage. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. 36, let's get it started. And we got a ghostly guy there who can walk through the walls like I can. I'm just checking through the walls just because I can anyway. He's not very invisible. <laughs> So I don't know how he could possibly trick you, unless he's gonna like corner you or something like that. Oh yeah, this is the stage that you can potentially die via drowning. Unless you go up the right side like that! <laughs> that could have been a catastrophe. Well, actually no, because I still have my heart power up, you know, to let me have more than one hit. Okay, oh I still have to go up the left side. <laughs> Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm good. It's carefully. Yeah! And carefully. Oh, jeez. Don't go in the water. The water is hot lava. <laughs> Kill Mr. Orange. The annoying orange. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't... Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. Curses. Well, it'll help me wipe, wipe out these blocks a little faster, I suppose. Oh, this little guy here. He's an extra life. Collect him. Yahoo! <laughs> There's a bunch of extra lives in the next stage, actually. Or I should say the next level. It's like a gold mine for extra lives, and I'll show you where they all are. All right, pretty bomber, let's get it on. I, I mean, let's battle. And her bombs, her heart bombs, there they move around completely randomly. I, I can't predict them in the slightest, and that actually screws her more than anything. So I'm just gonna let her suicide, just like the other ones did. <laughs> Or that's what it's looking like she's going to be doing. Oh, oh, oh dear. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of frightened, actually, because of her unpredictability. And she... Did she really think that was going to protect her? I had... Uh, yeah, I had the spike bombs here. Oh, I should see the red bomb power up there. And it goes through the blocks. Seriously, she doesn't know what the heck that thing does. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, there we go. I guess I'm not complaining. <laughs> 
boss stage. And this is one creepy mofo. <laughs> Remember the clown boss of the last game? This is this game's clown boss. Just watch. Oh my god, look at that face. What What is with the classic Bomberman games and having these atrocities like this? Oh, and she won't attack you directly, or I should say she won't aim for you, unless you blast her heart that floats around the screen like that, but it's kind of inevitable to do so, just because of the fact that, you know, the heart sort of randomly goes, well, not, not randomly goes around the stage, it floats around on the stage in an unpredictable manner, and it's... It, it sort of gets in the way anyway, and also those little sparks that she shot out of her eye while winking there. It hurts. Yeah. So don't touch the spark. It really is like the clown boss, because a clown did that, did that similar attack as well. Uh, it looks like she also erases bombs if she uh, runs over them. Oh, jeez. So dang creepy. <laughs> and yeah, she looks like she does directly aim for you when, when you hit her heart. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Nope. Ain't gonna happen, girlfriend. Uh-uh. Nope. Do not shoot those hearts out. I don't want to see angry sun. Well, still, ugly hurt sun is kind of just as bad as angry sun. <laughs> Seriously, what is with these atrocities? Oh, this is horrendous. <laughs> oh, don't touch. Oh, that's right. The hearts don't hurt you. I forgot about that. You can walk right through the hearts, but it's the fact that she... Um, you know, she goes after you if you blast her heart. That's the thing that I'm afraid of more than actually being touched by the heart. Oh, sorry to hurt a girl, but just had to be done in this circumstance because she was the bad girl. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. When we start Brain Bomber stage.